decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of June. So get ready to be bored, cause this is Floon. It's Hawaiian vacation day. Oh, Floon. It's Hawaiian vacation day. Where's your Hawaiian shirt? Hi. Well, you're wearing it. Hawaiian vacation. This is the worst party I've ever been to. Yesterday, Eric said, let's have a day where we pretend like we're on a vacation in Hawaii. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to eat all the things we usually eat by the pool when we go to Hawaii. We basically live on coconut shrimp and quesadillas. I don't know why, but like we always eat a lot of quesadillas. So even though this is out of Hawaiian food, it's delicious by a pool. And that's what we eat in Hawaii. So that's what we're going to eat today. I'm very... Get your pajamas or your Hawaiian. Oh, I'm too tired to talk. You're wearing it. Oh. the Thai chili sauce that it came with, but I also made some sweet sauce with like some sweet chili sauce, and then I added pineapple and apricot preserves, so it's like super sweet. I also got some tropical passion fruit juice. I love passion fruit. I love passion fruit. I've always like enjoyed it. I feel like the first time I ever had passion fruit, I was in Australia. It's not something that is very common here in California, but I thought it was really good. And then when I was in Waitress, I had a line about being very impressed with passion fruit. Like my character like was really excited at the idea of passion fruit in a pie. And so we'd always talk about passion fruit in New York when we lived there when I was on Broadway. <laughs> you gonna sweep up daddy? No. And so then I started like getting it more and stuff, like getting passion fruit drinks and stuff while we were in New York City. Not like alcoholic drinks, like juice. And I loved it. And I haven't had it since I was there, so I wanted to have it again because I feel like I do eat passion fruit in Hawaii because we have it there. Um, we have it here too. <gasps> Actually, I bought a passion fruit. I should open it up. Okay. Let me smell it. Mmm, that smells so good. I love passion fruit. Since it reminds me of Waitress and Hawaii, I'm gonna have it in my Waitress cup. The sounds of my child giggling while drinking passion fruit juice, get out of here. It mostly just tastes like mango, but it's delish. Flynn's never had juice before. Do you wanna try juice? Wanna try a sip? Take a sip. <gasps> Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> he's never had juice, he's only had water. Is that good? Yum. <laughs> you see yum? Do you like it? Is that good? <laughs> That's some fun water, huh? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so I put like this much of the juice in one of his cups and filled the rest of the way with water and he is now like losing his mind running around the house drinking <laughs> Is that amazing? <laughs> is that so yummy, Flynn? Do you like your juice? Oh my God, he's almost drinking all of it. which I never freaking do, ever. My hair is a pain in the butt to wash and to do, because I have frizzy, wavy, curly, thick hair. But it's wet, girl. We're going crazy on Hawaii vacation day. 
Eric is vacuuming, so if you hear those very loud sounds of the vacuum, it's because my husband's vacuuming. The baby's asleep, but we are hungry because all we've had today is the coconut shrimp. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm gonna make my quesadillas. So whenever we go to Hawaii, for some reason we're really obsessed with eating quesadillas and coconut shrimp by the pool. So I'm gonna make a quesadilla right now, but I'm gonna use pork because pork is something that's very popular in Hawaii. Um, at the luau's and stuff, they like cook it under the ground and it's super cool and it's a really awesome tradition to watch and it, it's like the most delicious tasting pork in the universe. I didn't do that, but I did just microwave like a pre-packaged pork. <laughs> so. Um, I'm gonna just put some cheese and some beans and sour cream and pulled pork into a tortilla. And I haven't had a pre-made tortilla in three months. I've been making my own tortillas for three months, so this is a very big moment for me. Okay, here we go. My cute little quesadilla. Eric's working on his. Let's... We saved the rest to put on a pizza. We've decided we're gonna save the rest to put on pizza. Mmm. Were the beans a mistake? No, it's great. Beans not a mistake? No. The pork is good. I wish I had guacamole. That's the thing we're missing. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's weird. I like it. I like it. These are beans. Do you want to try that? The bean. You don't like it? You don't like it. We got a bunch of new stickers and Flynn is very excited. Look at these ones. <gasps> Which one do you want? Okay. Like this one, the fire truck? Good job. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put it here? Oh, Baba. Airplane, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. But look, there's a bunny on this bus. There's a bunny. It doesn't care. This is gonna go on for another hour. I'm just gasping at stickers. This is very fun to watch. Something else I got, sorry, I have pool hair. It's not attractive. I got something else for Hawaii Tropical Island Vacation Day, which is tropical popsicles. Flynn loves popsicles. Popsicle. Do you want a popsicle? Look what I have. <laughs> you want to take a bite? How is it? How is it? Good? Okay. Tropical popsicle. Looks like there's passion fruit in it. Y'all know I love passion fruit. Let me try a bite. Whoa. That is not good. Well, since we had those quesadillas in the middle of the day, we didn't eat dinner or make dinner or prep dinner or anything. So now it's like 9.15 and I still have pool hair and I just got the to sleep. And now I'm gonna make pizza. So I'm making the dough right now, then I have to let it rise. Then we have to make the pizza and put it in the oven. So we're probably not gonna eat for another hour or two. But we want that Kahlua pork pineapple pizza. Don't come for me, all you people who hate pineapple on pizza. I don't care that you don't like it. It doesn't make me angry that you don't like pineapple on pizza. So why does it make you angry that I like pineapple on pizza? 
we can like different things. No two people have the same taste buds and like all the same foods and dislike all the same foods. How come this one specific thing makes you so angry? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like some people like apples and some people don't like apples. But people who like apples don't get mad at the people who don't like apples. They just go, oh, you don't like apples. So why? Is pineapple on pizza such a big debate? I will never understand it. Anyway. Um, I do really love pineapple on pizza. <laughs> and I really love this shredded pork and use barbecue sauce and then you put the mozzarella cheese on and then uh, shredded pork and pineapple. It sounds totally crazy, but I've had it in Hawaii a couple times and it's so freaking good. So that's what I'm going to try to make tonight. It might be a total disaster. We'll see. pizza cutter in the world. I'm gonna let this cool and not use this horrible pizza cutter. Are you using the wrong tire? Oh, that's why! Fly, 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 fly. I doubt it's the same fly. It makes me so angry, that fly. What's his name? Okay. Very good. Just very barbecue saucy, but it's really yum. I feel like it'd be better with marinara, am I crazy? It's pretty good. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's 10 45 p.m. <laughs> because they're usually late every night. Would you say this is a regular Saturday night this for us? Every night for me. My cat always got tingles in her weird hair, her little cobweb hair. And so I'm trying to help her, but she's not having it tonight. What about this is Hawaiian? I don't know. Cats live in Hawaii. Moose, are you concerned? He's so sweet that she's Are started, you concerned for your sister? She started meowing. Kabooey. Kabooey. 